today we're swapping out the aftermarket grill on this 97 Chevy. It broke already after less than a year of use. Check it out. Big crack there. Fastener completely snapped off. Crack there. Crack there. Crack there. This grill cost me about a hundred bucks. Uh, the one I bought is was almost 300. It looked like it was a little more durable. It's still plastic, but I think it'll hold up better and I'm going black instead of white. Um, the billet grill insert concept where you cut out and then insert that, screw it in, doesn't work. It makes the whole structure weak. Looks good, but there is no billet grill 100% billet grill for this truck. So remove the bolts and screws there, 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 there. There's four screws there, four screws there. And if you look, there's three tabs. One, two, three. Use a flat screwdriver to pry that up or it might catch. And then you're gonna have to remove the connector on the left and right. Here's a comparison of the uh, old one and the new one just lifting them up and this one is way heavier I can tell it's gonna last longer upon removal this plastic fastener has five connectors one two three four and that one snapped off five so I'm gonna see if I can buy a new plastic connector there um, should be pretty cheap and easy to put in all right I found this piece online you cannot buy it at any local auto parts stores none of them will have it in stock or in their warehouse so just go to Amazon you can get it for about $37 it's called the front bumper filler looks like all the bolts line up good should be a nice fit all right old trim pieces out Next is just uh, me being a perfectionist. Um, behind these four screws is a plastic nut. I got a kit. I'll share with you the kits that I use if they work. And then behind these side marker lights are PAL nuts. Here's a comparison, old and new. Uh, the new ones should work. The old ones are very brittle. So I'm going to put these new ones in and hopefully they'll stay snug for a long time. All four new ones are in. All right, all the lights tightened up real nice. Now onto the uh, PAL nuts. So these are the old, they're really hard to tighten, um, kind of worn out, rusty. Um, if you compare the one I got with the old, the hole is actually a little tighter on the new one. The new one is a little bit wider on the exterior, but the actual tightening part is identical. So looking at this, you can replace these two because you have space of flat plastic. Now these, there is a tight angle now this one will probably work to replace because I have a little gap there. Now this one, there's no threads. I don't know if that's by design, but the bottom, that marker is not threaded on one side where the gap, probably on purpose because you see the, the angle there, there's like, it's such a tight angle. You probably can't get a nut on there. And that actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, all three on this side have been replaced with new PAL nuts. Um, by design, I don't know, but the depth of this standard socket, once the tip bottoms out, the nut feels very secure and almost to the point where you don't want to tighten anymore or you're going to break the plastic. So if it's by design, that's brilliant. Okay, so I got to the other side and this was not smooth where the, uh, 
where the corner is really tight. So I think the other side was maybe a defect or this one was a defect because it had threads on it. Either way, this is thin enough. As we tighten it, it should just bend a little bit to curve into the plastic corner going on there. All right, the side is done, all four new. It drives me insane how you cannot buy any aftermarket parts and get all the trim, all the nuts, bolts, washers, screws you need. Um, so what's really valuable in this video is I'm gonna give you that information that's really hard to find and it's done by trial and error and I'm giving you the exact part number, so send me your cheese of the month, whatever of the month, as a thank you, because that took me a lot of hours of effort. So, pay it forward.